Uh, you know, guys talk about badge collecting and a, a Los Angeles police officer badge, if you have one, and you weren't a Los Angeles police officer, is either lost or stolen. I'll tell you that right up front. You're not allowed to sell them, you're not allowed to trade them. And there are a lot of people out there that collect badges and LAPD police badge commands a huge, huge sum. If it says policeman on it, as opposed to police officer, and I was, I think, the second class to come through where we were offered what they call the unisex badge. Because instead of saying policewoman, which is extremely rare, or policeman, it says police officer. And some of these are several thousand dollars. And I had uh, once worked with Emmy Lou Harris, the singer. And I was a young policeman. I think I had just got wheeled to Van Nuys. She was doing a concert. They asked me if I'd work off duty for her in uniform. I said, okay. And we started talking, and she collects police badges. And she asked me, hey, you know, I'd like to get a police badge. Can I have your badge? And I said, no. You can't have the badge. And I tried to explain to her that if I did that, I'd get in a lot of trouble. She goes, yeah, but I was in New York City, and they gave me tons of badges. I said, that's New York City. LAPD is a little bit different. If you lose your badge, then you have to go out, and you have to make a 15-7. You have to put a loss report and so forth. Well, here's the interesting thing about badges. You know, you have that badge for, let's say, a 20, 30-year career. You kind of become attached to it. I mean, it's kind of special because that's something you've had on duty, off duty for all those years. And the city said, well, you need to turn the badge in. And we're going to give you a badge. And it was flat. It looked like it came out of a Cracker Jack box. It was embarrassingly stupid. It's a really dumb, dumb idea. Because again, especially when you're working with street cops, they're going to figure out a way to get around something. So what would happen is, a guy would get close to retirement, and I think you'd see the same kind of report. While fishing in the Santa Monica Bay, I looked over to you know, pull in my 10-pound albacore tuna, heard a splash, later on, upon arriving home, discovered that my LAPD badge was missing. That means, according to legend right now, there's probably about 60 million LAPD badges in the bottom of Santa Monica Bay. They were all typically lost on a fishing trip. So the city obviously hired somebody with a reasonable intelligent quotient who started out, said, you know, this is ridiculous because nobody's turning in their badges. They hang on to them. Okay. So I said, I know what we'll do. We're going to give you a five pound block of solid bronze. We're going to take your badge that you've worn. We're going to fuse it into that five pound block of bronze. Well, that's kind of ridiculous as well. So guess what? The reports kept on being generated. Nowadays, what you do is you take your badge, you give it back to them, and what they do is they fuse on and weld on a little retired emblem to the top of your badge. So you get your original badge back, plus they give you a two-thirds size badge, plus you can buy, if you're retired, honorably so, you can buy a policeman badge or a policewoman badge, but those are collectors only, but only LAPD officers can buy those, and those cannot be transferred either. So they're typically made by the Sun Badge Company, there are a lot of knockoffs and fakes out there, but a, an LAPD badge for collectors really means something. Now, what everybody would do back then in terms of badges is, one, you can look at the number. And I had a four-digit serial number on my badge, four-digit number. Nowadays, they have five, so it looks like some kids have their Social Security number on the badge. Well, back then, if you wanted to know, you could look at a guy, and because you're always polishing your badge for inspection, and again, we're not talking about using a Dremel tool, You'd use Brasso. Everybody used Brasso. Well, if a guy had about five years on, and we have City Hall depicted on the front of the badge, and you can look this, Google this, look it up, and you'll see a picture of LAPD badge. About five years on, most of the windows in the top of City Hall are gone. And then the mid windows, those are starting to disintegrate and so forth. By the time you get to 10 years, we've now pretty much lost the top of City Hall, half of City Hall, and now the bottom portion is starting to become somewhat obscure. If you go to 15 years, 20 years, by the time you get to 20, you pretty much, all the windows are gone. So you could look at a guy's badge, and I've known a couple guys where you couldn't see anything. It's just a solid blob of what looks to be City Hall. But that's from having polished the badge so many times over 30, you know, 20, 25, or 30 year career. So a little bit of, uh, a little bit of LAPD nostalgia and history on the LAPD badge.